Hello, and thank you for checking out my tutorial on how to install WordPress on your Fat Cow account. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Fat Cow, Fat Cow has been around for a very long time. They've been around since 1998. They're rated one of the top 10 web hosting companies in the world. And for the price, I'd say they're actually number one. I've tried dozens of web hosts, and you just can't beat these guys for the price. They have a 1-800 number, you can contact them 24 hours a day, they're actually really good guys, they're always nice, they can help you step by step through things that you might need, things that other companies would charge you an arm and a leg for. Now, if you don't have a Fat Cow account, obviously you're going to need a Fat Cow account, and you could go ahead and follow the link that I have posted below the video, and it is an affiliate link, but more on that later. If you click it, you help me. If you don't, I don't care. It's fine. Uh, anyways, so once you click it, you're going to see this screen. And I want you to go ahead and click Sign Up. This is very simple. You're going to put your name, last name, address, all that stuff. We're going to go ahead and just fill it in. Now, right here, you have an option, which is actually a nice option. If you want to go with one year, go with one year. It's 467 per month and you have to pay for it for 12 months. Um, but I would recommend going for the two year. It's only 367 per month. It'll save you an arm and a leg there. All right, and then next we have the account used. Obviously, you're gonna be using it for individual. And the website essentials, honestly, you don't need this at all. This, if you're paranoid, if you're worried that your website might get uh, uh, stolen or some fraud might happen, go ahead and click that. Or if you're going to sell anything from your website, from your blog, uh, go, uh, I would recommend that. So here, it's $100 for two years. Now, most web hosts, for the quality of service and the uptime and the speed and the space, you'll pay this easily per year. So for two years, it's excellent. So go ahead and click Checkout. Obviously, it's not going to let me. I haven't typed anything in. But what you're going to see is you're going to see another another window, and you're going to go ahead and click Accept, and you're going to get your information, and then you're going to log back into your account. Now, once you log in, you're going to see this interface right here. Don't let it confuse you. There's many things, nothing of which you need to know. There's this neat little icon here. It says WordPress. Go ahead and click that. And then this window will pop up. And this is just telling you, yeah, you're going to install WordPress, blah, blah, blah. Now, mind you, this is actually quite difficult to do if you were to do this on your own. Hence the reason that most people use WordPress.com and they get themselves the my blog at, you know, dot WordPress.com. Um, and it actually is a lot better to host your own uh, in your own web host because you get more flexibility with it, more freedom. Uh, full control over your blog and you actually get more hits. It's better for traffic and it's just, uh, I'd say, much better all around to host your own. Hence the reason why I'm doing this. I'm trying to show people how easy it is. Okay, so click install. All right, so here you're going to pick, obviously, the stable version, the latest version. Um, this is giving you an option of where you want to install it. Do you want to install it on your route? And obviously, if this is all you're signing up for, because with Fat Cow you can have as many uh, uh, domains, as many uh, websites as you like, um, which is amazing too. With with this service, it, you have an unlimited amount of disk space, unlimited amount of uh, SQLs, which we'll go into that later. You don't need to worry about that now. Um, a limited amount of domains to be hosted. It's quite an amazing service. Uh, so if you're going to keep it in the root, which means that you're not going to have any forward slashes and stuff, um, go ahead and install it there. Me, since I already have some uh, sites hosted on this, I'm going to go ahead and call it something like, okay, Fizzits. All right, it's a, a product that I'm coming out with. Um, and I'm going to start a blog on it. So, uh, next second, you've got your step two. What do you want your new site to be called? Here you name it whatever you want. Fizz, let's say Fizzits. 
all right and your username and password you could go ahead and set it here it will give you one by random if you don't I'd recommend go ahead and doing it so let's go ahead and give it this whatever all right and the password okay all right so 9988 okay and yes I have read the um, terms and condition if you're the type that needs to read it by all means go read it uh, this one will automatically this right here this is the the database that's being created for you if you want to create one manually or you've created one because you're an advanced user then you would uncheck uncheck that and pick your database uh, uh, yourself but since we're doing this tutorial for beginners and just go ahead and keep that checked and we're gonna go complete now I'm going to go ahead and pause the video because it's going to take a little bit of time no it's going quite quickly but depending on the speed of your internet uh, um, this could take anywhere from one I've seen it take up to four minutes and that is it here you have your site URL you could go ahead and follow it if you don't want to lose this information I'd recommend copying it pasting it somewhere some of this information was also sent actually it was all sent to your email address that you logged on with so you will have it there as well 